we just transitioned to a whole other country, but we are now in Hungary. We're gonna go look for a couple viper species over here. Hungary is a little bit different than what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but it's like very like uh, Midwestern type place. Also, let's have a conversation about how they do hot dogs. Get on their level, America. So we've arrived to our hotel in Hungary. This is a lot of what this place looks like. We're already just kind of walking around before dinner looking for snakes. There's a couple of Natrix running around. Walked over to see the little Natrix that they caught and it's a little wall lizard. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that black belly. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that's pretty neat. Got it. Oh, here's the one. Oh, little baby turtle. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I like their long tails that they have on their babies. <laughs> Those tails are funny. Later, dude. <laughs> he sucks at things. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? He's like, I heard you say popsicle. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? <laughs> he wants to eat it. What do you want from me, dude? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, if you look at them, the shape of the plastron is, is uh, like <coughs> yeah. this way. They can, and also they have quite sharp claws to, to hold on. Otherwise, the reddish or brownish eye color is, is typical for males. Oh, a miracle of nature! No, it's it's, it's coming out. So this is the sexing technique. Of okay. But otherwise, and as you see, this one is also marked here. So it was already at least once measured. Every year we try to do a census. Who is here? Who is there? So. Wow, that's a beautiful nail. Yeah, and also already. Um, I don't know anything about Hungary at all. And that has some cool things to it actually because you get to be surprised and you experience new things. But this is this is really nice. The people have been really nice so far. Um, there's a lot of animals so far. So the, the, the target for the day is Hungarian meadow vipers. We are doing that with a biologist that actually studies them and he's gonna show us some hopefully show some vipers. The weather apparently is good. Um, waking up, you know, with my Arizona brain or, or whatever brain I have. So waking up and seeing all these clouds, I got a little bit worried, but apparently the people who know better than me are looking up and going, yeah. Looks like uh, we may be in the right place. What do you think? I think we're definitely uh, hot on the trail of vipers here. <laughs> I think so. So we took a quick stop to the Viper Conservation Center here in Hungary. It's their main conservation hub for the uh, Hungarian Meadow Viper. It's where they're doing all of this conservation work, breeding programs, things like that. So we're making a quick stop over here. Here's these little pens of where they're being bred and taken care of and, and studied. Oh my. Oh, Just wow. a little guy. Oh my. Yeah. my word. <laughs> but what, what you might see on her that usually the females have a uh, this one has a very short tail but this is the size of tail so like 10 percent of the body is the tail she's very cold and uh, 
so so this size like 50 she's over like 50 centimeters the maximum yeah, they are So the viper we're looking at, the Hungarian meadow viper, there's a lot of habitat fragmentation, destruction for these guys, collecting pressure, things like that, that they have to combat. So having this breeding population and having tracts of land conserved for them keeps them alive and well. So it's pretty cool to see all of this interesting work that's being done with them right before we go out and actually see them in the wild. All right, well now we're actually in the field after getting a cool tutorial and like a search image of what they look like when they're sitting in the grass. Time to go walk around and see if we can find some wild ones. Oh, look at that one. Look at that. He's gonna bite me. And I don't think it's gonna feel very good. A little Lacerda. Ooh, let's get you documented. Oh. Oh, he's gorgeous. It looks like we got one already. Oh, was it sitting just like that? No, it was sort of like. Oh. Right, right, right. Wow. Is that what I'm hearing? Beauty. Once we get our pictures, we can do some uh, measuring and some some processing here with the snake. This is a study site here, so. As you can see, they're very different from other vipers we've seen. They're very, very docile. They're very, they're not, they're not crazy, they're not throwing your, themselves at you, they're not really aggressive or anything like that. Eric got a really nice one. Wow. Was it uh, basking or run? Or? It probably was basking because I stepped right up on it and then it moved. <laughs> Here's uh, another look at this bigger Hungarian meadow viper. That Eric found. Look how that yellow is great. It looks at they said it was a female. How great is that? So here at the organization that we are searching with, we're really fortunate to be here. Not a lot of groups get to do this. And one of the things that is interesting about this organization, one of the things that they fight is people aren't necessarily appreciative of doing viper work you know conservation of doing work on venomous snakes so one of their big pushes in getting the word out is that they're not nasty terrible malicious creatures it's important to remember all over the world that there are venomous snakes even though they are venomous and even though they have the ability to hurt you that doesn't mean that they're nasty or malicious or or even aggressive in, in most cases. Well, that wraps up our morning looking for Vipera ursini. Uh, rac Racosiensis? Racosiensis. So it looks like all the students are filtering in the center. They're gonna go uh, get all the Viper education they could ever need. And we are going to head off to the next leg of our trip. This has been a great little stop. I love it. Guys, I finally did it. I posted some Europe footage. You can clap for me if you want, but I don't deserve it because it's like years later. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, comment below. Say, maybe give me a motivational speech of sorts. Say mean things to me, maybe. Not mean things, but maybe like get your butt in gear type things. And maybe, just maybe, I will edit and put the rest of my Europe footage up. I hope you enjoyed this one. 
Yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>